Good morning, ESM. We're going to talk about which Halloween candy that some people do not like to receive when they trick or treat. More on that after news and announcements. With basketball season coming up, Syracuse University is deciding to change COVID game day guidelines again. While the vast majority of the current guidelines remain in effect, there is one change that will have an impact on families with children under the age of 12, the release stated. Some of the new protocols include individuals under the age of 12 no longer needing to provide proof of a negative test upon entry. Individuals ages 12 and older are required to demonstrate proof of vaccination or a negative test upon entry. Masking continues to be required for all patrons ages 5 and up regardless of vaccination status, except while actively eating or drinking. In other news, more onions have been linked to salmonella in an ongoing salmonella recall. The FDA is urging people to throw out onions from many different sources, including meal kits like HelloFresh and onions sold through Keeler Family Farms and Potandon Produce. The salmonella outbreak has sickened 652 people in 37 states, and there have been 129 hospitalizations. Yesterday, the U.S. issued its first passport with an ex-gender marker indicating that someone is neither exclusively male or female. The State Department said it expects to be able to offer the X marker to more people early next year. The State Department also allows applicants to self-select their gender as male or female, no longer requiring medical certification if their gender does not match that listed on other documents. It is unclear how the change in policy will affect state laws that don't recognize ex-gender marks. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. PRISM will meet today, October 28th, after school in room B44. If you would like to become a part of the school's club for LGBTQ students and allies, please stop down. All are welcome. Did you know that you can learn how to manage your money right here in school? At our student-run credit union, the Spartan Bench is open every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 10.45 to 12.15 in the main office. You can open an account, make deposits and withdrawals, and cash checks conventionally right here after school. Don't have an account yet? All you need is $5 opening deposit, your social security number, and a valid idea to open an account. Also, you'll need a free $5 matching deposit when you open a new account, so be sure to stop down and take control of your financial future. So, first, let's explain the candies we like first. My favorite, or my favorite were Twix. Why is that? Chocolate outside, caramel and cookie inside, all that crunch and chewiness. Heck, even the commercials were silly. A Romeo and Juliet lifestyle between left and right Twix that apparently hate each other. Heck, even other flavors of Twix kept coming. Some were limited edition. Now what's your favorite? Uh, I like Twix. <laughs> Same thing here. And why do you say that? Um, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Now let's talk about the bad candies that apparently people hate. First up, Smarties. Smarties, why? They're just sugar-pressed tablets. I don't think they taste but well as well. Boring. Heck, black licorice is too. Ugh, don't even mention. Even the jelly bean form. Apparently it tastes bitter, but to me it tastes like a really dark coffee times five. Another example, circus peanuts. Apparently marshmallow peanuts. Those foamy banana tasting peanuts? Yeah, not sure why people don't like them. Also included NECA wafers. They are a crunchy wafer, almost like chalk. They come in several flavors, wintergreen, chocolate, lime, lemon, clove, cinnamon, orange, and licorice. Ugh, not licorice again. Yes. Heck, there are other variants of NECA wafers, sour, tropical, all chocolate, and candy cane. Now that a candy that some people hate, that's outrageous to us. Why do people hate this candy? Candy, candy corn. corn! Why do people not like this candy? Candy corn is a good Halloween candy. I don't understand why people hate it so much. I don't know why either. Let's just move on to other.
sunny with a high of 60 degrees and a low of 41. Friday will be mostly dry with rain at sunset. Saturday will be cold and cloudy with a high of 57 and a low of 47. And if you're planning on doing anything outside on Halloween night, you might want to bring a jacket because it's going to be a little chilly. There will be a high of 55 degrees and a low of 52 with a 52% chance of rain. We don't know how to cart pumpkins. I made the full circle. And I didn't. didn't. Um, and I'm, a, I'm a beauty guru. <laughs> She's armed and dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Your head's a pumpkin. My hair looks bad. Definitely haunted. So I'm gonna do this one. Do that one. Okay. I have to sketch it out now. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Those are our pumpkins. <laughs> Happy Halloween, America. If you want to make your own pumpkins, submit them to the Spartan News website, and then we'll, we're holding the contest. We'll announce the winners of the Halloween show. If you've carved a pumpkin of your own, you have a chance to win some candy. That's right. Uh, you can post a photo on Twitter and tag at ESM Morning Show. Or you can email us at wesm at esmschools.org. Um, and if you're selected as a winner, uh, your photo will be announced on tomorrow's show. Okay, we need to explain an important myth. There has been a rumor that there are, po there are poisonous or sharp objects hidden inside can Halloween candy. Joel Best, a University of Delaware society and criminal justice professor, has researched reports of Halloween candy tampering in the U.S. dating back in the 1950s. I couldn't find a single report of a child killed or seriously injured from a contaminated treat received during trick-or-treating. He said this is com contemporary <laughs> legends and that's all it is. More instances of contaminated candy have been linked to one family member to another. Probably gave them black licorice. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> to be extra safe, check the Halloween candy before giving it to the trick-or-treaters. Enough in a is enough, let's head over to sports. Varsity soccer team beat CBA 2 to 1 to go to the section final game. Goals were scored by Zach Schufeld and Todd Durantini, and Joel Alvarez assisted both of those goals. The football team wraps up their season with a win over Oneida 28 to 14. Quarterback Tyler Bell had three total touchdowns, one being a rushing touchdown, one going to receiver Luke Shammy, who also had two interceptions on defense, and the other going to receiver Rockiel, who caught another touchdown from Nick Camiso. The Houston Astros took Game 2 of the World Series last night, 7-2. Jose Altuve went 2-5 for five with an RBI and a solo home run in the 7th. The series heads to Atlanta, tied at 1. The Syracuse men's basketball team opened up at exhibition season last night with new faces as they beat Pace 79-60. Transfer Cole Swider had 21 points on the night and went 5-7 of seven from 3. The undefeated Arizona Cardinals take on the Green Bay Packers tonight at 8-20 for Thursday Night Football. In upcoming news, the boys' volleyball team plays at home against JD at 6.30. And I'm Tanner with your sports. So, Nicole and Elena, what are your favorite Halloween candy? Um, maybe like Snickers. I'm a big fan of like the Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Okay. Those are good. Those are delicious. Paige, Perfect. what's your favorite candy? Mine is Reese's Pieces. Those are good too. Have a good day. Wait, wait. Well, I hope you had a safe day. Hopefully those bad candies we mentioned, besides the candy corn, aren't given to the young trick-or-treaters. And make sure to check your bag and candy before giving it to them. That's all the time we have for today. So for me and everyone else on the morning show, have a great Halloween.